Theo Avila is focused on what's in front of him. Art helps him feel a few simple words. Excited and happy. A welcome distraction from one big word. Cancer? Cancer, a battle he's been fighting for three years here at Seattle Children's Hospital. Music therapist Tanisha Ross does her best to keep those distractions coming. It's really special to see them light up. Her most recent project. And it's front and back, literally the entire spacesuit is covered in art made by kids is out of this world. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Tanisha recruited about 30 young patients to add their art to a piece of fabric that will be sewn together with other art from kids around the world, then sent to the International Space Station to be worn by an astronaut. Mine's right here. And Brianna made one of the art squares. So I did the pansexual flag, except I made it have a star in the middle since it's going to space. She is also familiar with hospital walls. I have a thing called plastic bronchitis, and it's where I cough up long casts. And this project makes her feel... Special. <laughs> it's not often that astronauts wear people's art. <laughs> exactly what Tanisha is hoping for. It just kind of gives them a bright spot in an otherwise dark time. It gives them something to look forward to when they come here. Um, because this could be a really scary place and uncertain place and um, and so it's just nice to give them something um, that's bigger than that, that's outside of that for them to, to really give their attention to and focus on. So while these children are waiting for treatments and surgeries, they're also waiting to see their art take a trip most could never dream of. Makes it not suck as much as it does, honestly. Makes it seem like there's something exciting there. A happy distraction during a difficult time. Leah Pizzetti, King 5 News.